Okay, welcome back. Um, this is what you should uh, come close to. This is just an idea of how you could um, copy and paste information from the info file that, that was provided. As you can see, I've included a few things here. I've put the email address there from uh, uh, as you saw in the last video. Uh, I've had to go through, sift through the file and pick and choose certain items. So I've put a few items here. Nothing in the web uh, music page just yet. I'm gonna go through that in a moment. In the DJ page, I uh, managed to filter through some of the DJ information and uh, brought it in there. You'll notice that I've also included another cell in here. Uh, initially, it was three, so I split it and basically add and merge the top one there just to break it up a little bit. As I said earlier on, even though we may have started with one, two, three, four, and five, six here in the middle, your <coughs> excuse me, you can. Um, merge, add, increase, reduce the sizes of these cells uh, as and when you see fit. As long as the consistency in terms of the font style, the top and the bottom, and the size of the web page remains the same, it should be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to show you a couple of things. For example, here, this here, I'm going to make into a list. I'm going to do it as an unordered list, so that will bring you in closer. I will also, so let's save that, control and S. On the DJ page, you'll see that I put a separate section for the different three different days. We'll have the three different DJs. I'll put a little bit of the instruction uh, information on the top. In the merchandise base, you'll see that, you'll see, um, <coughs> excuse me, them talking about the merchandise. So I, threw, I copied and pasted that information there. So this is obviously an email. So that needs to be an email link and that copies it over, press OK. That's that done. Just as that, just like that, it's very, very easy. Um, there's also one other item that we need to add here. So, here, going back to the file, you'll see that the rest here, I believe, belongs to the music page. So, we've got three records information there, and then you've got jazz resources, resource, which is that information there. So, I'm going to push that down. Then you got music is in a sign, so music. Yeah, so jazz resource, a four piece jazz outfit. Uh, so therefore, therefore, that's going to be talking about this one here. Um, signs blood, so that's that one there. So let's separate the paragraph, just make it a bit easier. And wits bold, which is this one here. So that you can see, that's one, two, and three. That's one, two, and three. And it is in the correct order. So resource, which is there, with this one. Music is sign, so the sign. And with bold, which is there. So these will be accompanied with them three. And we also, if you remember from the actual exam paper, they talk about um, the three images. There we go, record one PNG, record two, record three, and that they gave the sketch that we have to follow through. So that's uh, how we're going to use that. So for now, I will copy and paste those over, but just bear in mind that we may have to move them around when we come to that section. So there's some information here at the bottom with the talk about if you have all records and vinyl, CD, cassette, blah, 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 but they're still talking about music. So I personally think that deserves to be on that page as well. And that's a continuation of this previous paragraph. So yes, I preempted them having, or oh, we, us requiring, me requiring three sections here for the three records, uh, but it looks like there's a paragraph there or two as an instruction. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna table, split and I'm going to have it as a, as a row yet so you can see two there now same thing here table split and make sure I'm splitting this into two rows there you go then select them two and merge it so I have that section now to put my paragraph so I'll come in here and I'll just go in here right click and cut or control and x will do and we're going to simply just paste it in there it is done <coughs> excuse me and then push this back up for now I know that the pictures will be on the left hand side if you remember from the exam you can see the pictures these symbols basically indicate the record because the record is a circular shape and then an album cover so these three items are the records they just put it in a very symbolic uh, a very simple format just so um, 
you know, you understand it. And then we're gonna have the name and the audio underneath and the information on the right hand side. So this information here is gonna go on the right hand side anyway. Um, what I will do is understand that record one, two, and three is in that way, it has to be in that order. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this and put it in the first one for now. I'm just gonna put it there for now. And then cut that and again, go back in, put it in the second one. And then go into this one here and cut that and flow into the last one. Now, if this line here jumps, just drag it back in again. Don't worry about that as long as you can fix it afterwards. You can see, you notice that the outside the, of the website hasn't bump, uh, jumped, so that's okay. We're now going to copy or cut this information here and paste it in here. Cut this one here because it's in the same order. Paste it in this one and then go back down into this file, cut that out and paste it in. Now that is all the information. I've been cutting and pasting just so it makes it easier for me to see how much I have left. So there's no duplication uh, of the text on the website. So I now can simply just save all these. So control S on that one, control S in this one, control S on this one and control N S on this one. Now, you may have noticed that I haven't actually checked if the height of the web page is correct. I'm going to leave that right till the end, purely because we're going to have to throw in some pictures on some of these pictures. So that's, that's why I've left certain uh, areas blank here. Um, I'm not going to add any more text here. So rather than having this blank, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this together. Merge, there we go. And we may actually have this. We may as well have this in the middle. Sorry, not this one. Top and keep this centered so it's in the middle of the page. Um, save that one, let's have a look at this, let's see if we need to move anywhere, anything else, no, that's fine as well. DJ page, that's fine as well, I may have to push that up a little bit, there you go, save. And then merchandise, so we've got some space there, that's fine, but again we're going to throw in some pictures. Now, what I'm going to show you is, is if I open this up now on Chrome, you'll notice that there might be some differences in the height. So this one stops almost near to the, bo in, in, to the bottom. So I'm gonna take that off. And if I go to this one, this might be, I have a feeling, a lot smaller or shorter. So as soon as it comes up, F11 can see the gap is a lot bigger. But like I said, there's no point messing around with the height just yet because we have to throw in some pictures uh, and that's gonna change the dynamics, the looks of the actual, of this page itself. So we're gonna worry about that later. So for now, what I'm going to do to end this video, <coughs> excuse me, is to add the links to make these navigation buttons work and these hyperlinks at the bottom work. And to do that, it's, it's pretty simple. You click on the home button and you go down here where the link is and you click on the folder. And then you find the home page. Now you might be thinking, why am I putting a home page button on the home page? Because it refreshes it and it's a norm without it, the navigation bar is gonna look pretty empty and bare. And um, it's just easier to just have it in there for consistency. So you simply just click on home page and press okay. Same thing with this one, music page, go down to the link, click on the folder, find music page, there it is. And the last one, DJ, find DJ. And it's a simple case of going through every single page and doing the same thing. So you can see on the music page, I've just selected at the top, it's empty. So you click on the folder, home page. And you keep doing that until you have all of them. So I'm going to do this and uh, show you the end result. Right, so I've just done the last one. So you can see I'm on the merchandise page, home page button has a home page link, music page has a music page link, and the DJ page has a DJ link, a uh, page link. So we press save, control S, so you can go to file and save. And then I'm just going to open it on Chrome. And what you'll notice now is going to behave just like a real website. So I'm on the merchandise page, so you can see why the title is so important, because without that, I won't know. Um, I've got information here, so I'm going to press on F11 so I can see the whole page, there we go. And if I click on music page, it's going to go straight to the music page. 
if I go and click on home page it's going to go there and back to DJ page and you can see that from every page anything should work so if I go into home page two music pages for is fine back to home page to DJ page so I know that the buttons on home page work if I go to the music page now I need to test that the music page takes me to the home page so click on that it works go back to the music page now I need to test that the music page takes me to the DJ page so click on DJ page works fine perfectly okay so now I test the last one from DJ page music page fine DJ page to home page perfectly fine so they all work um, as they're supposed to and you'll notice that the size of the web page does not change apart from this bottom part here which we're going to sort out in a minute but if you notice how consistent the top and the sides here were and how the navigation bar does not jump up or down that is professional it's consistent and you'll get top marks if you have the same style the same design what we're going to do now to finish off this tutorial is to have the links here at the bottom for accessibility reasons so i'm going to take this off and i'm going to cross this off and it's similar to the navigation bar all you have to do is go down to the bottom and we're going to highlight the words home page and you should be able to um, then add insert a hyperlink so instead of an email link which opens up an email which I'll show you in a moment hyperlink is just a link it takes you to another place so similar to the navigation bar button so if I click on that I'm then going to um, find the link which is similar to what we did with the navigation bar but it's here this time so you click on that and you find the home page press OK and that's basically and you just press yep you press OK and that's it and then you do the next one you'll see that this uh, the color changes with it and it goes you know turns blue and it's got an, an underline underneath it uh, indicating that it is now a hyperlink so you do the same thing with the music page you go up here to the insert down to hyperlink and you change it to click on the uh, folder uh, music page there it is and press OK um yes press ok that's fine and then you do the dj page insert hyperlink find the folder go to dj page press ok and then press ok again and then that is that one done press save or control s so this page is done but the music page now needs to be done as well so does the dj page and so does the merchandise page so i'm going to pause it here and come back to you once i've done all four Okay, welcome back, and you'll notice now I am on the merchandise page, and uh, all the hyperlinks at the bottom are done, so I'm going to save this, control, make sure I'm selected here first, control S, there we go, DJ page, control S, music page, control and S. Now if I go onto any one of these, let's put this down, on Chrome, just to test it, and you'll notice that it should work in the exact same way. So, F11... If I click on music page, oh, I'm already on music page, so if I click on DJ page, there we go, home page, perfectly fine, music page. And that is pretty much it. The one thing, the last thing we need to do before I end this tutorial is that you'll notice that at the moment we have no access to the merchandise page. And in the exam paper, it specifically says that they want you to go to the merchandise page from the home page. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a home uh, a, a button or a link and because it doesn't specify um, which way you do it it's really up to you so um, actually no here we go so the, it tells you here include a t-shirt PNG on the home page so we're gonna throw in a t-shirt in uh, soon and then we're gonna add a hotspot that's gonna take us to the merchandise page okay uh, I'm just gonna double check to see that there isn't anything else that specifies a link to the merchandise page page so it's worth you doing the same thing in the exam now if this was the real paper I would have used a highlighter or a pen and cross these off as I'm going along um, so so far we've got four pages yes uh, we're going to come back to this once we finish everything we've got the information that's fine we're going to use images soon uh, which is going to be the next uh, video visual impaired users we've pretty much crossed that off as well consistent uh, design yes that's fine as well banners done logos done navigation bars done uh, the icons are on there as well consistency yes um, we're going to look at the pictures and, and the audio soon 
And I think, judging from this page, it looks like the way, the method they want us to take to get to the merchandise page is through that. So double check it down here. Nope, that's it. So, I'm going to stop the video here and um, we'll look at images on the next video.